Welcome everyone to another graphics tutorial in C-sharp. In this one you'll learn how to rotate images. Um, so what I have here already is a fairly simple rotate image. You browse, you select your image, and this is the angle that it rotates off, basically. And rotate that all the way around. 180, comes back around, as you can see. Now I'll show you in the code how this is done. You start out and you have an image, a bitmap, and graphics to draw to the screen. You then take open file dialog, which is of course tied to this button, so we can select our image. This shows the dialog. This assigns the image to be the dialog's file name. This creates graphics for us to draw with. Scale it down a little bit because you know, it's easier to see that way. Most of these images don't really fit on the screen that well. And then down here, give it that extra space, is where the numeric up down value change executes. And I have that set up to be a total of 360 maximum and an increment of 5. So every time I click that button, it's going to move by 5 degrees. And then it, it uh, oh, well, look at that. I had hard coded that earlier. Okay, numeric up down dot value. But then again, that's going to do something very interesting. So make it cast float because it's looking for a float type. You'll see. It's going to actually increase the amount it rotates by. By a bit. Yeah, you can see the spacing becomes larger and larger as you go along. That's because it now rotates by 25 degree increments. And then it's back again. So, yeah. Um, basically, we can just leave that at a straight value for now. I float. The F signifies float. Just letting you know there. So yeah, it's pretty pretty simple. Uh, there's a few other ways that this can be done too. And that it would be, for instance, if I was to go remove this line and replace it with image dot rotate flip rotate flip type dot uh oh capital rotate flip type dot and we'll not flip it, we'll just rotate it by 180 degrees. Anyways, there's a lot of options in there. So let's just grab that. Oh, one other thing I need to do. Yeah, it caused an error, I know. Move this to about the center. 100. And uh, yeah, that way it's not all the way over on the side that up and uh, I'm gonna click that and yeah 180 degree rotation is gonna make it go basically upside down there's a couple other options in here uh, the only thing you really you know is that these are the degrees on the side there flip X and Y Y is vertical X is horizontal if you flip along say the Y axis so rotate none flip along the Y axis oops just like that, hit enter. It's going to basically flip like a card to the side. So it'll be kind of like facing the opposite direction. So for instance, uh, watch this bird on the side here. He's going to go to the other side, I think, if I'm correct. Oop, I did forget to do something. Got to maximize this first when it creates graphics that's large enough. Anyways, yeah, keep a track of that bird. You go like this. Oh, okay. Along the y-axis, I guess, is vertical. Anyways, x will be the horizontal. Just put x in there. You'll see what I'm talking about. And grab this little bird, watch him. And he flips to the other side, see? Like for instance, pick that. Mm. 
Good luck. Pictures. Pictures. A lot of random stuff. Okay, here we are. You can see that this guy is on the opposite side. Anyways, I think that's probably good comprehensive enough about rotating and flipping images. So uh, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. And, uh, well, not really, but you know. So yeah, like, comment, rate, tell me what uh, you want to see next. And that's it for now. Bye.